Now I think we all know that this one is basically a no-brainer as of course we now have Super Saiyan God with the principles of Ultra Instinct versus Ultra Ego Vegeta and as a hypothetical if something like this were to actually happen there's no doubt about the fact that Vegeta would win but this right now is definitely what is needed for Goku to improve within our top 5 strongest fan manga to where as of course you guys can see as Goku is now given a limited amount of time in order to get stronger to face off against the top 5 strongest warriors it was in fact Vegeta who had told Goku along with Whis that hey you kind of need to strengthen your lower forms before reaching the top so just in case you end up getting desperate then only then could you use ultra instinct you know what i mean so i think in this case right now i don't see myself actually lasting long against vegeta because i don't know there's something about it i think that vegeta is working his way around me to where if you guys just so happen to have missed out on the previous parts to our fan manga then you guys can go on ahead and find those located down in the description box below and pinned comment section and i think you guys are really going to enjoy what we have have planned going forward because not for nothing I think that Vegeta would be a very strict but firm and I think fair kind of opposition to be training with you know what I mean and we kind of see that he's showing Goku no mercy in the fan manga as he wants him to improve so that's all she wrote for Goku we're definitely gonna run this back because make no mistake about it even by using UI there's gotta be some way we can actually counter him because if we can't then well I guess we're gonna have to turn it up by using blue then right now let's see if we can actually do this the second time around so I have no doubt that even if Goku were to merge together the principles of UI with Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, as he did in the manga, that he would be a force of nature, he truly would, but against Ultra Eagle Vegeta, who was continuously being shown just training with Beerus, I don't see Goku doing anything to kind of have any sort of advantage in this battle, as of course right now this dude just completely shattered my stamina, which is kind of what's happening in the manga right now, because Vegeta is just punishing Goku, telling him, hey, if you can't seem to climb any higher and improve your lower levels, then show me what you got by using Ultra Instinct, which Goku isn't doing yet, but make no mistake about it, Jesus. Okay, this is really bad, and we're gonna run this back one more time, because this is just insanity, dude. Now, here's what's interesting about all of this. So, I do want to get your thoughts in the comment section below on if you guys believe that maybe Goku is going to be able to match Budo, Akuma, Yoshido, Takira, hell, even the Grand Priest, and if you guys think otherwise that he's going to lose, especially when going into the first match, then let me know down below, which again, if you guys want to go in ahead and get exclusive sneak peeks and just so many other things that other people won't get to see before you, then visit our Patreon and support us on Patreon. Patreon com slash unreal and gaming link will be located down below and in the pinned comment section down below as well from there you guys will be able to access all of my fan manga soundtracks which i know a lot of you guys love my music art pngs for you guys to have and so many other things so let me go on ahead and just unleash continuous spirit bombs which i will also say this because i had a few people asking me well where does goku plan on going after gradually and just continuously increasing and bettering his lower forms well the thing is, as Whis even pointed out, in order for Goku to grow, he needs to start and work his way from the bottom up and not essentially work his way from the top down, you know what I mean? So that kind of makes sense because if worse comes to worse and Goku needs to tap into his most powerful form and power, then he's going to do so. But at the same time, Vegeta is reassuring Goku by letting him know, hey, this is on you and if you want to fight the strongest, then you're going to have to fight off against one of them right now in the time chamber and if you survive, great. If you die, then that's on you, you know what I mean? So those are the principles that Vegeta is bestowing upon Goku in our fan manga and again, I can't wait to show you guys what we're going to be doing next. As always, thank you all so much for watching guys. If you guys are new, then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up right now by smashing that like button down below. Tune back in for more and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy guys and have a great day. Peace!